Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Adobe Live. My name is Voodoo Val, and I'm going to be your host this morning for day two, hanging out with Phoebe. Um, I'm super pumped to dive into what we've got planned today. Um, but first, Phoebe, why don't you introduce yourself, tell everybody a little bit about you, and let us know what we're working on for today. Hi, everyone. I'm Phoebe. I'm the founder of Girl Gang Craft, and I have a couple of little slides for you, but... Um, Girl Gang Craft, we are a femme forward community for creatives. Um, we have a podcast, we offer classes and courses, we have a membership, and we host craft fairs in both Salem, Massachusetts and in Oakland, California. So if you're in either of those places, please come to one of our events. Or if you're a maker or creative or small business owner and you want to be a part of our events, we have all that information on our website and you should follow us at Phoebe Sherman is my personal Instagram and at Girl Gang Craft is Girl Gang Craft's Instagram. I think that you will not regret it because I love these accounts. I think they're gorgeous and informative and wonderful. So definitely take a look at them, folks. Um, but yeah, what are we what are we working on? Because yesterday we went over um, creating a lot of really awesome stuff for um, for Instagram. I learned a lot, and I'm pumped to see uh, what nuggets of knowledge I can pull from today. So. Yeah. So I just want to say that I've been uh, an Adobe Express ambassador since it was Spark in 2020. So I really love the Adobe community and I'm really excited to be here and show you what I have learned on Adobe Express and share it with you all. Um, so yeah, today we're going to talk about eye-catching and easy to navigate real covers. And so um, I am someone who's very interested and teaches about repurposing on multiple contents or on multiple platforms. Repurposing content repurposing content for multiple platforms. There we go. Um, <laughs> so, but real covers are pretty uh, specific to Instagram, right? You don't have real covers for TikTok. Um, you could sort of apply some of this maybe to Pinterest. Mm -hmm. um, and YouTube shorts also do not have that capability yet. So this is this is very Instagram specific. Um, but so I want to talk about real covers because I think they're, they're really fun. I find them fun. I love reels. I love making content. I have a full fun time making videos. Um, and real covers are a really great way to, um, make your Instagram still aesthetic, right? We don't have the TikTok raw, um, sort of screenshot situation, you can do that. And I think you can do like a nice sort of combined um, of like the screen capture and the real covers. I think that can pair really well, as you can see on my profile here. Um, but this is a really great way to like keep the sort of Instagram vibe going, right? That's what's so fun about Instagram specifically. It's very aesthetic, whereas TikTok has sort of like moved away from that, right? Yeah. Um, so you can bring in your brand colors um, in these real covers. You can make them aesthetically pleasing. You can sort of, you know, I like to say when you, with your feed, you sort of like make a painting, like with your brand colors, sort of make sure that the composition's all nice. Yeah. Um, and from... <laughs> Um, so we've talked about branding perspective and then from like a strategic perspective, um, for navigation, it's really important. You want to treat your Instagram as sort of the second website. And in fact, it might even be like your first website. Most people will come to you through social media and then go to your website. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you want this to sort of serve as, um, as a second website, as easy to navigate, as informative. Um, so like right here, I have very strong action oriented, small titles on these real covers. And that's going to help navigate your audience to find out the information that is below them. Mm -hmm. And it also hel helps paint the story about who you are and what you do. So there, it can be really impactful if done well. Um, and then just something, a couple things to note too. So they only show up on your profile. It's not going to be like a screen. It's not going to be like, um, I don't know, like a title capture before the video, before the reel, right? Mm -hmm. It just exists on your feed. 
so that's just packaging my... right like yeah you know it, it shows it there so that you can see it but when you click into it there's no adding of that image to what they watch when they open it up Yes, exactly. And then just a couple things to keep in mind too. Um, you know, we're working with a 16 by nine um, size, which I'll show you in Adobe Express in a second, mm -hmm. but on your feed, it's gonna only show the square. Okay. So if you go into the, so square on your feed, and then if you go into the reels little um, section on your profile too, that's where it's gonna show the full size. So there's just some things to keep in mind. And then also, if you do a real cover of the screen capture of the video, mm -hmm. um, and maybe you like, you know, you can make it, you can move it around for where it captures, that's going to affect you bringing in the real cover afterwards. Okay. So, so like the position it is on the photo, if you're like trying to bring in this text and you're like, uh, maybe actually I want to put in a proper real cover. Mm -hmm. Just keep that in mind. That's going to actually move what captures on the real cover too. So it might be a little okay. trial and error and you might have to like move the text up and like see where it actually appears on your screen. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes perfect yeah. sense. And and maybe okay. that's, you know, uh, motivation and encouragement for us all to kind of develop a formula for how we make our real covers so that we can make sure we don't, you know, get stuck at that point. Um, but good to know also if there's anyone in chat who is unfamiliar with setting up a real cover and stuff so they know what to expect if something doesn't go quite how they expect it. <laughs> Yes. And let me know if you have any questions too along the way, but we're going to hop into Adobe Express now. All righty. I do have a quick, like a small question yes. as you kind of dive in. So, you you know, it's going to show you upload the real cover and the real cover is 16 by nine. And it shows like the long real cover when you slide over on your profile to look at all the reels only. And then on the feed, it shows the square version because it's mixed in there with all of your square images that are, or, you know, images that are cropped to square. Um, so that real cover, does it crop down and show what's in the middle on that square version? So uh, if that makes sense, like when you pull, when you, when you preview it from the real, lineup and the profile feed lineup um i i always wonder to myself like is it shrinking down and just showing the center of that real cover in square format so like whatever i put in the middle of um, my design for the 16 by 9 real cover it's probably going to show the center of that cropped for the square on my profile right? Yes. Okay. Unless you move it around. Okay. Unless we move it, like you said. Yeah. So, okay, cool. Okay. So I want to go and just start from the beginning. So we're going to actually do an Instagram story. Mm -hmm. That's the same size as your, um, as your real covers. Okay. And so that's kind of cool too, because you can sort of repurpose that for your stories if you need to for anything. Mm -hmm. And I'm actually, I don't know why we are already saving my blank project. So let's just try that again. Okay. We're saving the project. Um, come on. Okay. We're going to just reopen. Okay. So we're going to do an Instagram story. We're starting from scratch. I actually really like working from, especially if I'm feeling like a little bit uninspired um, and I don't really want to start from scratch. I love working from templates. Yeah. Oh yeah. And, and I think, I think I made you all a template also, mm -hmm. which is down in the description below. Yeah. If you guys would like to check out Phoebe's template and remix it yourself, or heck you can work along with us today and design something for yourselves. Definitely check out that link in the description, pull it up and start experimenting. Yeah, and a lot of the Adobe ambassadors have given templates as well, but there's also all these templates on the program. So I actually took my template mm -hmm. from this template and we just sort of messed around with it. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna start with this template. Um, we have some fun aspects here and then I'm gonna change it. It's very similar to my brand colors, but I'm gonna change it to my specific GGC brand color, which I have uploaded in my brand kit so it's always available mm -hmm. 
move our little faces to the side. Um, so I'm starting with the background and then I'm gonna change this photo to my to photo of me. And I have uploaded a lot um, or a few of my photos into the library. And so that's just like nice and easy access. Um, so I don't have to like upload it every time. Um, and we're just going to pick this one and that replaces the photo there. Love it. Um, let's have this say something fun. Um, what should we have it say? Um, how to create real covers. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're gonna change that. And then I don't like the spacing on that. So I'm gonna go into this little button over here, the VA, and that's gonna, you can change the letter spacing. Okay. Or you can change the line spacing. Nice, nice. And so that is always good to know about. Oh, that so looks even better, here. yeah. To, you know, move it to two lines instead of yeah. three. It, like, fits in there really nicely. Also, I would love to welcome in. We've got some new folks coming into the chat. I see um, Khaled, welcome in. Uh, Gareth Williams, welcome into the chat. I see Sean Coso and Sam Peterson. It's good to see all of you folks this morning. Let us know if you have any questions as we go along um, in our stream today. We are creating um, eye-catching Instagram reel covers, which um, is definitely something I think that we can all benefit from. Um, and uh, we've got about, I would say, um, over, we got maybe maybe 14 minutes about left in the stream. So if you guys um, want some questions answered, now is the time to ask. If you think of anything along the way, let us know um, so we can help you out as we make our way through our project. Um, and I see you're placing, um, Phoebe, some more uh, text in here. I also love the colors. You've, you know, kind of started to incorporate other colors into the work here, which is starting to look so cool. Yeah. I'm also going to go into shapes and add some fun little, um, pops of fun things like this little smiley face. I like, I don't love how it is like hollow in the back. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to also go ahead and find a circle and throw it I'm back just typing in circle. And you're going to get what you want here. And I'm going to make this the same size. And I'm going to move this behind. Um, Love it. So, yeah, and just make it like center. And it should lock into place with the line. So that's a really cool thing that they offer. Let's see maybe if they have like a fun flower. I just love all of the different assets and things that are available to us in um, Adobe Express because I feel like working outside of Adobe Express, I spend so much time hunting for the right icons, the right assets, the right everything that I need and having it all right there just on the side of my project. It's like having, you know, my painter's palette where I can just reach over and grab anything I need to add to my project. It's very convenient. Yeah, I love that. And then, okay, so let's say this is done. We love it. And we want to go ahead and like make another one. You can go ahead and do multiple pages. So you can literally copy the same one. Mm -hmm. And so you can see that you have the same one. Or you could just start a new one. Okay. The cool thing about multi-pages, which I don't think any other program has, is you can do multiple sizes on the same screen, which I think is wild. Oh, so okay. I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to resize it um, into a square. Actually, sorry, that's a new one. So I, that's not how you do it. I totally lied. You're going <laughs> to go to, you're going to resize this somewhere here. So I had already made a copy mm -hmm. just so you, you know, so I'm not going to lose this first one, but I'm going into edit it second one and we're gonna resize it on the right hand side and so we are gonna let's try something like a completely different vibe let's try like a facebook um this is like a page um heading or like an event heading so you can mess around with it here you know obviously it's not gonna 
it's all centered, right? It's still sort of the same size, but you have all the elements there. Mm -hmm. So you can sort of like mess around with it and expand it to make it that resize. Um, yeah, that's so convenient. That is so, so great. convenient. Oh yeah. And you can also like move it all at once and maybe you even like add another photo here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to even go ahead and find design assets. And I like their Polaroid um, frames. I think oh, those yeah. are super fun. Um, this one with the hearts is super cute. So let's go ahead and move that over. Uh, I don't like the hearts, that? actually. I don't like the hearts, but I like the Polaroid. So I'm going to go ahead and ungroup it. And then I'm going to delete the hearts. Um, right. So, you know, you've got you've you've got your resized image here and you're starting to create like a set and i think you know in my mind um when i think of adding multiple pages i think like adding multiple pages of the same size and ratio to create like a carousel post um set which i mean you can do but here seeing um i'll be honest i don't i never really thought to do this myself where i have different sizes for different things you could have a um express project that is the same promo designed at different sizes for all of the social media platforms you use and have that saved so like here's the announcement i want to make and i've got a promo prepped for facebook for twitter for instagram for hive tumblr whatever it is that you use and have it all in one place and super organized so just another way to think about what you can do with the pages and what that purpose is which um is actually pretty cool <laughs> yeah and i mean you know when we're all working with all these multiple platforms and we have different communities on facebook instagram tiktok youtube all of these things right even you're like your like email marketing, right? Oh, yeah. You're gonna wanna use all these different sizes. And so mm -hmm. that's um really cool. And then I'm just gonna go back to like my main um little page here and I'm just gonna start another one, another story, um, and just like try and have it sort of like speak to the other one, be different, right? But you wanna have um, you know multiple types of stories that you can work off of and then it's just like a plug and play situation right so like yeah. maybe you've made a few of these you have new topics right and then you go ahead and like put in new photos new text i'm gonna go in here and find the design assets and i like their um their graphic groups i think oh, this yeah. one's super fun mm -hmm. um and they have i feel like just like on. templates the graphic groups are things that you can also use as like a basis for your own kind of design because you throw it in there and they're like these really great collages of things. But if you have your own design assets, but maybe you feel a little bit intimidated about combining into like a collage of sorts or like a burst of your branding, you could grab one of these groups and ungroup it and start placing in your own little design elements too. You know, um, they just make it really easy, I think, to express oneself, you know, and have a starting place if you need one. Um, and I love this. Um, and I kind of ex explore those graphic groups a lot because there's stuff in there that they do that I maybe wouldn't think to do myself. So. Yeah, absolutely. And I love the remove background mm -hmm. situation. And then you can just like, have a fun time, move all of these over, um, and then maybe add your text in again. This is a real cover. Um, we have a question um, yeah. uh, from the YouTube saying, hello, hope you are fine. Just humbly want to know, um, is it possible to add any link in the cover and I would think I'm going to pass it to you but I think that that is what you would do on Instagram correct not here you can't add any links to an Instagram cover oh to the this is so so yeah just to remind we are doing Instagram real covers not the actual stories you could add a link an, in, an in interactive story. link to the story yes but yeah. for a cover no um, and maybe you can kind of um, refresh us on um, how to use the reels and um, we were discussing when they will actually show um, and, and the purpose just for anyone who's unfamiliar. 
Yeah. So the real cover is basically like, I mean, think of it as like a book cover. It's like the title page and the videos underneath. So this is not going to show right before the video. It's only going to show on your, um, on your profile. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So like you could take this and add a link and also make it into your stories. Now everyone has the I mean, it's so amazing that we all have the capability to have the links because we didn't before. Yes, yeah. we used to have 10K. And so it's really nice that sort of democratizes um, everyone to be able to share, you know, things off of social. And that is a goal that you should be keeping in mind. We actually want to move people off the platform to your website or to your email list, right? Mm -hmm. And so that is the goal of social media as a small business is to attract new people and then move them to your website so they purchase, right? Yeah. Um, you know, you could also have some personal reasons for it. Maybe you like content, you stay in touch with people, all that things. But from a business perspective, you are moving people off of the app. Mm -hmm. Now, Instagram is wanting you to stay on the app. <laughs> That's why they've created, you know, shopping options in the app and subscription in the apps. But I strongly believe you want to move people off the app because you want to have all the information mm -hmm. from the people so that they... So you stay in control of that. Mm -hmm. um, but that was a tangent. So I apologize. But <laughs> um, no, I think it's good information. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> but so, yeah, for real covers, there's no way to link. Um, I know that TikTok allows you to link to some things, but it's not your own websites. It has there's like plugins. But the only way that you can add links is you on Instagram, you have two links in your bio. I suggest you use one. I don't, it, cause it also gets hidden. It mm -hmm. like, it's, um, I don't know what the word is, but it gets hidden. <laughs> so you, I think you should use one link and then you should have multiple links on that link page. In that link, like a link tree yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Which I, I would agree because then you can always say, you know, when you're making your post, link in bio, link in bio. And it's true every time. You don't have to change links. I remember the days when I was like, but if I can only have one link, do I have to change it? No, don't yeah. do extra work. Yeah. Do a link and, tree. <laughs> and I'm actually, I'm actually anti link tree. Um, mm -hmm. I think you should make it on your website. So you oh, have yeah, good idea. and you have control link tree pay. You have to pay for right to have it. Mm -hmm. Branded. Um, and it's easy enough to do on your website if you already have a website. Mm -hmm. Um, and then you get the traffic to your website and it's one step closer and you're and you're starting to collect Google Analytics and data. Mm -hmm. So again, we want to create um as much as possible on our own infrastructure that we have like rights and own information about. That's so. actually a great, um, <laughs> a great idea. And I will probably do that now. So have a page on your website that links to everything and link that directly instead of going through a third. You are a genius. You are definitely <laughs> a master of your craft. <laughs> and if you, if you want to look at an example, I have one. It's grogangcraft.com slash info. Mm -hmm. And that's our links page. And it's just button. It's just links. Okay. But if you want an example of uh, what that looks like, we have one. We have just a few minutes left in our stream here today, but definitely check out. We have a link to girlgangcraft.com in the description below. We can also link that to you in the chat um, so you guys can check out um, that. Go to that info page. Look at what Phoebe is doing. Take some pointers from her and experiment with implementing that technique yourselves. I know I will. <laughs> Yeah. And, um, you know, give yourself permission to have fun with social media. I know that there's a lot of like stress and there's a lot of imposter syndrome and there's a lot of comparison traps and all this stuff, but like ultimately the more fun you have it and the more, um, you that you are and showing up authentically, um, you're going to attract the, the right people. You're going to attract your people. Um, and that's going to be really potent. That's excellent advice. Um, and maybe in our, our last few moments, we can um, kind of recap the stuff that you have done from the beginning today. And then we can um, just remind everybody, we've got your links thrown in the chat right now. So everyone can definitely give you a follow. Uh, but yeah, let's do a recap real quick. And we'll do some, some parting advice um, before we take off for the morning. Yeah. So just remember that you're using the nine by 16, um, have fun with templates, have fun with colors, um, upload your brand assets into Adobe express. Um, you know, try things, see what works for you. Um, you know, stick to the same brand colors. I would, 
I mean, I have like five, <laughs> but like use them over and over again, right? And it really clearly becomes your branding. Um, and then just keep a note where you're keeping the like main um, meat of the stuff. So because it's going to show, the square is going to show up on your profile. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah. yeah, this looks great. I really love, um, I feel like I've learned so much from you today, not only just like how to formulate uh, the real covers. So I feel more confident when I go to make them. I'm sure the same is true for other folks. Um, but also, um, just, I feel like you really have helped all of us keep in mind that we can start from a template and we can start, um, with all of these wonderful things that are available to us so that we can kind of get into the groove of our own, um, branding, which is really great. Um, do you have any, um, parting notes or things, um, uh, to mention just before we take off, we got maybe a minute left here. I think just get in there and try things with both social media and Adobe Express, you know, see what works for you, see what is like pleasing to your eyes. Um, and, you know, be specific and spell out things like specifically and kind of obviously um gotcha. really thinking about your instagram as um another website awesome thank you so much that is all the time we have today folks we really appreciate you hanging out you can always check out the replays um after this for day one and two and we will see you another time adios everybody bye